It has become crucial for us now to envision the shape, the breadth, and the depth of our strategic partnership and how it must move forward as we weather the storms of global volatility. I see the way forward in building on the strong ties that have already been established between our citizens, between our economies, between our governments. Today, we add a further dimension to that relationship as we address concerns on our security and defense. We are called upon once again to join forces together with our partners in the face of threats to the rule of law, to stability, and to peace. For the Philippines, Australia plays a crucial role as one of only two partners with the Philippines, which, with which the Philippines has a visiting forces agreement. In August of last year, I witnessed exercise ALON, our bilateral amphibious activity involving 560 Filipino soldiers, 1,200 Australian servicemen, and 120 U.S. Marines. Last November, we welcomed the inaugural maritime cooperative activity between Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Australian Defense Force in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Let this just be the beginning. Your leaders have always taken the position that the destiny of Australia is irrevocably linked to the destiny of Asia. Over the years, you have held true to this tenet. You have become a valuable member of Asia and of the Indo-Pacific community. Our two countries have always understood that without the predictability and stability of our rules-based order, our region would not have emerged as a driver of the global economy as it is today. We have long known that our prosperity and development are anchored on the peace and stability of the Indo-Pacific. Today, that peace, that stability, and our continued success have come under threat. Once again, we must come together as partners to face the common challenges confronting the region. Not one single country can do this by itself. No single force can, can counter them by themselves. This is why our strategic partnership has grown more important than ever. We must reinforce each other's strengths. We must protect the peace that we fought for during the war and have jealously guarded in the decades since. We must oppose actions that clearly denigrate the rule of law.